Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer and this is the Penrose Morph. Uh, I developed the Penrose Morph together with uh, Craig Kaplan, who is uh, well known for his uh, tiling work. Uh, so, um, as you may know, the uh, Penrose tiling is the famous aperiodic tiling and there exist uh, multiple versions of it. One version uses rhombuses, as you can see on this side, and the other version uses kites and darts. And the puzzle that we have here is something I asked uh, Craig, can you morph one into the other? And the answer is yes. So let me take the frame out and now we have all these pieces and it's a jigsaw puzzle, uh, put them back together. And there are two uh, types of pieces, kites and darts. And a dart piece morphs into a rhombus, whereas a kite piece morphs into two rhombuses. And like kites and darts, they fit together like uh, this, and like this, and like that. And you can uh, make uh, nice uh, patterns with them, like this decagon. And let's add some uh, more darts. And anyway, for people who understand how the kites and darts or the Penrose tiling works, uh, the puzzle is fairly easy, but of course if you don't, then you get uh, quite confused. And I made the frame like this uh, with some of the uh, additional uh, uh, rhombuses to make the thing look better. And everything clicks together with magnets. So my question to you is about uh, the morph. As you saw the pieces are morphed from uh, one shape uh, to the other, but the sides they are not flat. There are some of these bulges. And here you can see the bulge quite pronounced. Um, and Craig designed this uh, on purpose. And my question to you is, uh, why did Craig design these bulges into the pieces? Thank you for watching.